So a quick overview of this property. I'm calling this session uh, Rehab Nerd Camp. Nerd Camp Rehab of a project in Algonquin, Illinois. Uh, had the roof done a few days ago. Actually, they started on Monday. Today is Friday. It was finished on Wednesday. Don't tell anybody, that's our little secret. Uh, got all my materials delivered this morning. And they're in the garage. This door is gonna go. So what I did is I uh, used my big box store spreadsheet that I talked about in one of my most recent podcasts. Took uh, what I needed off of that, added a few items such as these washer dryer, electric dryer was not on my original list. So again, if you haven't heard that episode, that's episode number 31 of the Investor Empowerment Series radio show. I talk about working with contractors as well as uh, putting together your own big box store spreadsheet in order to expedite your orders and save you a lot of time. Ooh, that's a heavy door. That's getting replaced actually this weekend. Got some debris in the yard. Thanks guys for drawing some attention to the property. Just kidding, I don't like that. Um, so we're in the middle of this rehab or just starting I should say, three bedroom, one bath home. Um, again, if you listen to the podcast, not that I wanna beat the podcast to death, you know, you'll see uh, some of the stuff that I talk about in the podcast, this is the video version of that in real life. So this is our kitchen here. As you can see this is kind of a big open room. Uh, we got, I'm standing in what I would call the dining area or the eating area. This is the utility room over to the side. That's all the debris from all the demo work that's already been completed. I'm gonna have that pulled out of here today. So I've got a nice little utility room. I've got an updated uh, panel, which I like. Uh, here's where the washer dryer are gonna go. I'm gonna tear all this stuff out that you're looking at, looking at right now when the plumber gets started. Uh, I'm gonna give him a call actually, get him moving. Uh, there's our furnace, it was actually in good shape. Um, there was some stuff missing. This whole plenum here was missing. Uh, they had, I had my guy come in and, oh look at that, it's hot. Rebuild this stuff check out the furnace. He had to fix a few things that were wrong with it, but it is functional. It's actually only a few years old. And we've already got the painters in here. They actually started priming the doors and some of the trim and the walls. Here's our bathroom and or future bathroom. Uh, the roof was probably the most devastating part of this property. Everything was leaking, there was a lot of moisture. Uh, luckily, it's been dry for a while because it's winter here in Chicago. But um, yeah, you can uh, you can see I've got some work to do in here. That's where the bathtub's going, the shower surround. We're gonna make all this nice and new again. Another bedroom over here. One thing I want to point out is the flooring. Uh, there was carpet over this when I purchased the property about a week ago. Actually, a week ago today, I bought the property. Um, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Pulled out the carpet, right? Now I got hardwood everywhere. I see there's a little bit of difference in the types of hardwood. This is a different style than this, but I don't care. We're gonna finish it all. It's gonna look awesome when it's done. Uh, just to go over like my thought process on a room like this, you know, it looks, looks pretty bad, right? Uh, we're gonna need to do some work with that right there. Make sure we're getting heat in here. Um, yeah, we've got the insulation in the garage. We're gonna re-insulate. We're gonna drywall. Uh, we are going to paint everything. Get it all up to par. We're gonna put in bifold doors here. I actually got doors in the garage already for these uh, doorways. You can see some of the doors are still here from the original uh, owner of the property. Uh, some of them were not here, so I had to toss a few place a few I should say so yeah that's where we're at um, heat on set to 60 let's see yeah, that needs a little work furnace guy so that's it it's a nice property actually backs up to a creek can't really see it from here because it's kind of buried back in the trees the sunlight's gonna be impossible 
But um, in a couple weeks, I'll update you guys on what's going on. And uh, you can check it out. All right. Tan us out.